Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I do apologise that there has been a delay in uploading new content. Um, unfortunately, um, the videos that I'd already done um, got corrupted, so I've lost um, quite a lot of the videos of, of the build and the magazines. So what I'm gonna do is just cover the magazines uh, 11 to 15, um, and then we'll also cover some of the build, as I say, there are elements um, which are out, going to be out, slightly out of sequence. Um, so, um, this video we're going to be talking on the magazine for Sovereign of the Seas, number 11 to 15. Um, so, in number 11, um, you've got a book about the masts uh, from the 16th to the 18th century on the ships. Um, in the age of sail section um, you've got a lovely um, continuation of the Darwin ships the Beagle so that's the second part of that um, very informative a nice little diorama uh, of the boat um, <coughs> etc um, it then goes on to talk about woods uh, first part about woods for the boat for the ships different types of woods that you can use in your build such as lime, bamboo, sable, uh, uh, walnut, chestnut um, and then the parts that you get with this uh, issue are the lower decks um, you also get um, the um, they're called strakes which are the little planks uh, for the launch uh, as mentioned previously, I'm not going to be building the launch until later on um, because um, I don't want the, mod the, the launch just sitting around um, to one side while I'm actually building the main model because it's not actually, not actually going to be put in place until near the end of the build. But it does tell you how to actually fit the strakes. If you prefer, you want to build the um, the launch early. It tells you how to fit the strakes um, and how to build up the launch um, on the, the mini jig. Um, so that's issue number eleven. <coughs> issue number twelve. Um, in this one, it's basically. Um, talks about the age of sail again, the improvements to the rigging and the sails that were made over time. Um, uh, and then the um, marine modelling section, they to talk about the French bomb catch uh, Salamander. Uh, so this is a, again a two part section, so there'll be another part in the uh, issue 13 I believe. So it gives you some nice uh, illustrations of the model, as you can see. Um, in the modelling masterclass, uh, it goes on to making a sanding block, uh, which you will require. Uh, you can either buy pre-made sanding blocks, um, as I have here. This is a belt one, so it's... Uh, shaped so you've got the curves you've got the, uh, the flat bit um, and all you do is you buy the, the little belts uh, these come in uh, packs so you can get different grade sandpapers as well um, so that will actually fit into uh, the onto the sanding block and it gives you a nice surface the various sanding blocks you can have as well as sanding blocks you can also uh, use the files. Uh, I've got a number of sanding blocks, different types, uh, depending on what I want to do. Um, but this uh, number 12 will actually get you, um, show you how to build one, uh, which you can use um, in your models. Um, the items you get with the number 12 you get the stringer beams for the lower decks so what this will be is um, there are bits of wood like this these will go at the edge um, between the frames the lower frames and the deck these will go there um, and then you'll also get 
some um, pieces of wood to actually go across um, the frames. So across the middle, um, they're called the stringers and what they will do is they will support the next deck up. Uh, so they will pour, support uh, the second deck from the bottom. Um, uh, and it advises you how to cut um, the strips to fit into the frames. So but we'll go on to that at a later point um, in relation to the build. Um, so that, that explains how to fit them all in on uh, number 12. So moving on to um, issue number 13. <coughs> Again, the naval architecture in the Age of Sail. It talks about the naval art architecture um, in relation to the builds and the architecture and the building of the ships and how they've changed. Um, goes on to explain the different methods that they were using in the build. Uh, quite interesting. The uh, the me marine modelling section again is part two of the the bomb catch the salamander. Um, more a bit of a diorama and the model itself with the details. Uh, very nice model. Um, it's not complete. Well, I'd say it's not completed. It's basically the hull, <coughs> just the hull section. No rigging, no mast, um, um, and yeah, it looks a lovely model. Um, so somebody's built that. In the master glass section, it is part two of making your sanding block. Um, it just goes through how to. Um, finalize that off. Uh, it is useful if you want to make your own sanding block. Uh, this one has a, it's a flexible, what they're recommending is a flexible sanding block. So it gives you um, the flexibility to form the bow formers on the front of, of the, the ship. Um, that way um, you get a nice rounded finish. Uh, because this one here is flat and rigid, obviously you've got to work with it. If you're getting a, a, a flexible one, uh, that way you're not going to um, put too much strain uh, as, as you're sanding. You're actually going to get a nice finish. Uh, so that actually shows you how to make the sanding block. I might have a go at making one of these, uh, so I'll do that in another section um in relation to this and then we can see how it goes uh, so we've got plenty of wood to do that and then i'll say see how it goes and says okay yeah it's good it works um and then we'll give that a try um, in the uh, actual assembly guide they are talking about the launch itself so it's more work on the launch so detaching the launch from its assembly jig um finalizing it off and also uh, you get the uh, anchor so it just tells you how to remove the launch from the jig um, how to tidy it up and then it then goes on to fit in uh, the keel and also then making the anchor uh, for the launch um, but as I say as I was earlier not going to be doing that until uh, later on in the build. So moving on to issue number 14 um, in the age of sale we it talks about the <coughs> the expansion European expansion and trade uh, with the age of sale um, between various uh, countries and obviously the increase in spice trades that happened throughout the century, etc. The marine modelling section, they are talking about uh, Lascelles' ship, the Labelle. 
So this is part one. Again, it's another model of other ships. Gives you the dimensions of the ships, um, scales. Uh, this is a full ship with the masts and all the rigging, as you can see. Um, Hones in on the little details as well, which is very nice. Um, and all the little gun ports, etc. As you can see, lovely um, uh, pictures there, and a few of the uh, descriptions of it. Um, in the modeling masterclass, we go on to talk about the painting and coloring of your ships. Um, this is an option that you can have. Some people prefer when you're building your ships to have them as uh, painted. Some, on the other hand, uh, choose to have them as plain. Uh, for instance, with the HMS Victory, uh, when you're building that, you have a choice of doing it all in, in the wood effect, just the wood, or you can do it in um, the battle colors, uh, which are all the painted with the black and the yellow ochre. That is personal choice, it is down to you how you wish to um, paint your ship um, either way. Um, also gives you um, types of paints, choices of paints to use. And um, one thing that it really uh, interests me is the burnishing. Uh, it gives you a section upon burnishing. Uh, that is where you'll get the uh, anything that's like brass colors like eyelets etc um, you can get the burnishing um, liquid you can dip that in and then it makes it look more weathered and more realistic uh, so that is what I will be using I will be doing the burnishing um, in on on the sections that are required uh, which is very useful but it does give you a better overview as you can see in that picture there um, you've got the, the how it looks with the brass effect and then the burnished um, I think it more look, will look more realistic on the model uh, in the actual uh, assembly section we are going on to uh, the second decks uh, so you will receive those so they will come uh, in packs there so as you see in, in the uh, issue number 14 you get the decks um, all the that are required to fit in the second X, uh, so which we'll be building up uh, at a later point. And it will tell you how to fit the decks in because you'll have already put in the supports um, on the build. Um, it also goes on to more details of fitting the launch, fitting out the launch. Um, which includes <coughs> um, more work on the hull. As you can see, we're putting little uh, stringers across there, um, and then we're just going to start sanding down the launch itself um, inside uh, to be fitted out further. Um, as I say, that is, is something that we will do uh, most probably it will be um, an episode all by itself. Uh, the same concept will be, be the, uh, for each of the launch launches you get. Uh, I'm not sure how many there are on this ship, there may be two, I think, um, but we'll do them all at the same time, but it's the same concept. Uh, I believe the Victory has four. Um, so we, we I've done those in the past. Um, so finally, issue number 15, this uh, in the age of sail, we're talking about the Portuguese and Spanish conquests um, uh, of the, the, the seas and, and where they went um, in the reign of Spain, etc. Um, and the places that they, they uh, went to and, conquest, uh, and conquered. Um, the marine modelling section, again, it's talking about the label. Uh, more uh, interesting pictures of the label, as you can see, uh, and a bit more information regarding the ship. And again, lovely um, 
uh, pictures of the launch there, as you can see, and the bow section. And finally, the, the last picture, as you can see, um, of that. <coughs> so, Again, in the modelling masterclass, it's another section of um, the woods that you can use for the modelling ships. Again, the types of, of wood um, are dependent on your choice, really. So, different each woods give different finishes, different colours, um, strengths, etc. Um, and and. As I say, it, it is totally up to you. Um, so you've got plywoods, MDF, um, etc., and pine, but it is totally up to you. Different woods and different uh, types of woods have different strengths, pros and cons, really. Um, <coughs> but, uh, and it also says you could about the dyeing that you can do. And then in the assembly section, uh, it's talking about the um, stern assembly, which will fit into the end of the keel, um, and the, it will make up the gallery. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, all laid out, um, and we'll go into the build uh, when, when we get to that. Uh, it tells you how to basically build up um, the stern section of the gallery um, and then it also again it touches on the launch painting the launch again it again preference of the colors that you need to be using <coughs> uh, and they're actually using an airbrush and I've actually got a compressor uh, with the airbrush facility so once we start painting either the main model um, for the hull uh, or the launches will have a look a bit more into uh, the painting uh, of what you can do various ways and various techniques of painting um, I'm gonna actually for the first time try the airbrushing to see how it um, turns out previously um, I have been using uh, the paint brushes uh, you get amazing quality with the paint brushes just takes a little bit longer but this time I'm going to be using uh, the airbrush and to see um, what the finish is like on that. So we'll review that together. So that is it for issues 11 to 15. Again, um, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please list them below. Um, I will certainly uh, answer those for you. Um, so that is it for this episode guys again thank you for watching um, and then in the next episode we will be doing some of the build uh, on the model which will um, be looking at the jig um, and also um, the frames unfortunately as I've said I've lost some of the files so it's going to be a bit of out of sync so I'll just show you um, Unfortunately, I've lost the part where the frames actually fitted into the keel, um, just inserting them, but then it will carry on as normal um, of what I've done uh, moving forward for you. So thank you very much for watching. As always, stay safe, take care. Bye-bye.